Up on Mountain News this morning, girls from across the Commonwealth tried their hand at STEM with a two week long space camp. And one young archer from Letcher County is making a name for herself in the archery community. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfi. The time is 6 a.m. on Monday, June 17th. Now let's go ahead and check in with meteorologist Tim Drawbridge for a look at your forecast this morning. Good morning, Olivia. Good morning, everyone. It's going to be hot and steamy across eastern, southern, eastern and southern Kentucky over the next several days outside our door right now. Little fog trying to develop here and it's 70 degrees. Temperature wise across the rest of the Commonwealth, we have dropped down to 69, now 68 with the update from Manchester, 71 in Harlan. Good morning to you up in Ashland. Uh, we know you're watching 70 degrees up your way, 75 though. You make your way towards Somerset, Monticello, still at 81. All right. One of the reasons why Monticello is warm is so the blanket of clouds that came across from Tennessee over the last several hours and the activity from late last night very very early this morning has completely died out but nonetheless as we head through this afternoon to this evening we all have that opportunity for some isolated showers or thunder showers and we'll see a forecast high as we head through this afternoon in hazard up to 92. a look ahead through the rest of the work week some of you are going to end up doing this when you see the seven day forecast that's all coming up in just a few moments olivia all right, Tim, thank you. The baseball Wildcats were off yesterday after their dramatic win over NC State in the College World Series. Brian Milam is in Omaha this week and had the chance to catch up with several fathers who were sharing the game of baseball with their children. The sounds of the College World Series. They soothe the soul every June in Omaha. For the teams which come here and the fans who follow, it symbolizes success and accomplishment. Yeah, it is an incredible moment. As we were watching the regionals, and my son's gotten into baseball this year so much, and as we were watching the regionals, I told my wife, if they make it to Omaha, we have to go. And it's a great experience, something that he'll always remember the Wildcats' first time in Omaha. Tens of thousands of fans are in Omaha this week to watch the College World Series, and that means fathers sharing their special day with their children. You know, that's, that's one thing my son kept saying is, he's like, Dad, we get to go for the first time Kentucky's ever going to be in the College World Series. It's like, how often do you get to see something for the first time? As a father, uh, what better Father's Day gift could you have? Um, I've always wanted to come. It's always been a bucket list, but to be able to bring my two boys and, and to be able to be here as a Wildcat, as a fan with our team in the stadium, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. The kids may not understand the importance of this trip with their daddies, but they know they are with them, and that is what matters. I feel very good and happy. That is really fun to be with. Um, it just means that this trip is going to be better. It'll just make it fun. The parents of the UK players are no exception, living out their dreams through their sons and spending this moment with their boys in blue of all ages. Yes, it is. To, to be here in general is a great uh, it's a great accomplishment for him and the team, but to get to do it on Father's Day is even better. So I'm very proud of him and just great to be here. It's special. It's, it's definitely a special yeah. setting. Uh, he won't be playing, so I actually yeah. might get some time to spend with him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's like, again, it's so hard to put into words. I pinch myself every day to where we were two years ago to where we are today. This is where you want to be with your son. This is where you want to be. If you're a baseball coach, you want to spend Father's Day there, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of him for so many so many reasons. But to be able to get to spend it, not only with him but with Kristen, um, it would be uh, awesome. And uh, looking forward to it for sure. So on this Father's Day, we thank the men who helped pave the way to our dreams, 
and taught us the greatest game ever invented. At the College World Series, Brian Milam, WIMT Mountain News. And of course, we will hear more from Omaha as the Cats prepare to take on Texas A&M this evening. A bunch of Big Blue Nation traveled to Omaha, but others back in the bluegrass wanted to show their support. Some enjoyed the game from the comforts of their favorite bar and other watch parties. The Tin Roof in Lexington was just one of the local spots hosting watch parties for Saturday's game. Kentucky fans say they are excited to conquer on the diamond. I mean, obviously it's a lot of pressure, but I think they're just really excited to kind of show because we're a big football and basketball school, so I think that showing them kind of, hey, we, we can do this too, is going to be really good for them. So the game brought some nail biting moments, but the crowd went wild when the Batcats ultimately came out on top. Over the last week, several high school girls from across the Commonwealth and beyond have been getting a glimpse of what it's like to work in the aerospace industry thanks to the Space Trek program. The two week long program in Moorhead is a space system program that allows girls to do a bunch of hands on activities. The primary takeaway for girls participating in Space Trek is that they see a tangible college and career pathway in aerospace. Something that happened for the program's co instructor, Chloe Hart. And throughout my time at Space Trek, I just fell in love with space systems engineering and ground station communications. Uh, specifically, and that's when I decided to change my career path and go into space systems engineering. Space Trek will wrap up Saturday, May 22nd. It's summer and children are out of the classroom, but that doesn't mean they have to stop learning. Cassidy Kugler, a rising senior at Union College, started a book drive that will last until July 14th. Kugler plans to give the donated books out to families in need to help give children a new activity to do this summer. Kugler says the idea came from her own experiences growing up and reading during the summer. Reading is so important, especially at a very young age and in the summer when children are bored. Um, it's like kind of a funny story. I would read books so fast in the summers. My mom would have to take me to the thrift store to get books. So um, I just think it's really important in the summer, especially also between like grades changing, I guess. So from like kindergarten to first grade or preschool to kindergarten and up, like it's so important. Those like summers are so important. Kugler says there are currently three drop off points at Leslie County Library in Hyden, Mountain View Elementary School and Stennett Elementary with the plans to add more in the future. Eastern Kentucky has seen its fair share of great athletes and in Jenkins another prodigy has arrived. Kimber Collins archery resume at the age of 14 is something that most could not wrap their heads around. National championships, world championships and an academic archer of the year only tell half the story. But when you speak to her father, the story becomes so much more clear. And people they talk about Kimber and they and they say how humble she is, but she's just a 14 year old kid that's enjoying the ride. And she don't even it's hard to it's hard for me as an adult to wrap my mind around four world championships, five national championships, two state championships. It's 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 really hard to comprehend what what all she's done. But but you know at the end of the day, you know as a dad, you can't be more proud. You can't be more proud of her accomplishments. Collins plans to continue to improve her skills so that she can do archery at the collegiate level and possibly get the opportunity to participate in the Olympics. Kentucky basketball's head coach Mark Pope, his daughters and Kentucky basketball staff hosted a father daughter camp. Jessica Umbro spoke with participants who say it was special to share the experience with their loved ones on Father's Day. We love the game of basketball and I love teaching her new things and just the experience all together. This is overwhelming to me, literally. <laughs> I love it. Wildcat dads and daughters pack the Joe Craft Center for an afternoon of dribbling drills, watching film, and shooting practice. There was so much fun things that we got to do. 
and I just loved all the time that we got to spend with our dad. I was very excited because we got to spend time with our dad and it was my first day. And Kentucky basketball's head girl dad Mark Pope was in attendance while his daughters helped to teach a daddy-daughter dance. We spend a lot of time together throughout the week, but it's it's a great great time to see all these other dads enjoying their daughters and, and enjoying Coach Pope and, and all the things that he's he's doing here at Kentucky. Both the dads and the daughters taking in the time with the Kentucky basketball players. All the players seem really nice, and the coach, the new coach, seems really nice too. The end of the day marked by a final performance. All those in attendance were decked out in blue and white, celebrating Father's Day the best way they know how, with their family and their Wildcat one too. A good Monday to you, waking up on the warm and steamy side of things. But hey, we were expecting this. Looky here, mid 60s, Jonesville wise, mid 70s, Jackson Irvin, still 81 at Monticello right now. There's a blanket of cloud cover that's been creeping across from Tennessee over the last few hours out your way. So you're going to be limited at least over the next hour to you see some sunshine out across uh, the western portion of our viewing area. For the rest of us, we'll continue to enjoy a beautiful sunrise. And we'll call for a partly sunny sky. Region wide this afternoon, though, risk of a shower, thunder shower popping up. Could be some heavy downpours, and pretty much that should be it. Forecast high and hazard up to 92. Yesterday was 93, 92. What are we forecasting tomorrow? Because if we get three consecutive 90 degree days or higher, it's a heat wave. Let's put it this way. I don't think we need to worry about counting. Details with the first alert seven day forecast coming up in just a few moments. Olivia. Thank you, Tim, and thanks for joining Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. We take a look at the first major wildfire of the year burning through California.